Hello YouTube and welcome to your 20th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be doing something a little bit different today we are going to be writing a string to a text file so um, this is one of those programs that's really easy to build easy to uh, write the code for but uh, it will be a lot more satisfying than some of the other programs that you've made in the previous tutorials so um, let's come up here and to write to a text file we're going to have to include two things we're going to have to include string because we're going to be using get line and we're going to have to include um, f stream which is the file stream and we're going to be creating a text file in the directory that our program is stored in so let's come up here or down here and we're going to type of stream my text file so basically what we're doing here is we're creating a new object of of stream now this object is called my text file and what my text file does is my text file contains a bunch a bunch of functions that you can use that C++ has built into it so you don't have to write it for yourself so let's come down here and we'll just see out enter the text you want saved in the file in line and we'll just create a string we'll do string lowercase string file text and we'll just get line cn file text so basically what we've done here is we've prompted the user to enter in their text and we created a string called file text and we use get line to get all of the text that they want to type into their file so now what we're going to do is we're going to open the text file that we're going to be writing to now since the, this text file hasn't been created yet the program is going to automatically create it for you so we'll just use our object my text file dot and you can see down here that this big long list of functions pops us pops up for us to use now this is called IntelliSense IntelliSense is built in to um, the Visual C++ 2010 Express IDE and it it's useful but not everything uses IntelliSense and what I mean by this is in other IDEs like the C Sharp and the Visual Basic one which are run off the .NET framework they have IntelliSense built in to almost everything so whenever you start typing something the IntelliSense is going to pop up and help you with it and that isn't the case for C++ it's only going to pop up every once in a while so let's come down here and we're going to find open so right here what it does is it opens a file and then inside our arguments for that it's gonna we're gonna put our file name or here here's the, and right here this is a the list of um, possible arguments that you can put into the parameters right here this is just here to help you um, if you don't know what you're doing so we'll open let's just do let's just name it the same as our string file text dot text and then we'll just do my text file and then we'll do file text and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna close my text file so my text file dot close and then after that we're just going to do cn.clear to kind of clean stuff up before the program ends and um, this should work perfectly so here let me pause the video real quick okay so here you can see that I have navigated to the debug folder that holds my write to text file program now if you don't know where this is um, it should be under libraries documents visual studio 2010 projects and then whatever you named your project 
and then it'll have debug. So now if we come down here and we run my program. Okay, hold on. That is from the previous tutorial. Let's come up here. What was that all about? Okay. I seem to have opened a a new window. Let me close out of that. Okay, so now before you navigate to your debug file, I forgot to mention this. You got to come up here to project or not project, debug and come up here to debug and click build solution. Now what this is going to do is it's going to compile your code and make it into a .exe and it'll update that in your debug folder. So now if we come down here, back to debug, it should work this time. So now if we open write to text file, it'll say enter the text you want to save in the file. And we'll just say, um, I don't know, testing to see if my text will be written to the file. And then when we press enter, it didn't do anything. So we're just going to assume that it completed the process and there weren't any errors. And now if we press enter, it'll close. And you can see right here that it created a file called file text. And when we open that up, you can see that your text that you wrote into your application is stored inside of this text document. So let's go back here and recap the code one more time. So what we did is we created an object of OF stream. Now if you don't understand this, that's fine. We'll go into that more later on. But um, basically what the object does is it's something built into C++ that has a bunch of functions that will do stuff for you so you don't have to make your own code to do it. Now that may be confusing a little bit because an object can also be from a class created by the programmer. And um, if you don't know what a class is, it's perfectly fine. We'll, we'll get into that later. But so pretty much we created an object right here. Then we prompted the user to enter in the text. And we created a string that's going to save the text that they enter. And then we use get line and cn to get all the text that the user has entered. And what we did is we took our my text file object and we used the dot open function. And inside our arguments, we just created the name of the file that we wanted to open, which is file text.text. And since that what didn't exist already, it just created it for us. And then we used our my text file object and then these two less than signs right here, which is similar to C out to write the string file text to the um, file text.text .text document. And then we just closed out of uh, my text file because we didn't want to use it anymore. And then we just did cn.clear to clean up a little bit before our program ended. And then we used underscore gets to pause it so it didn't just end right away. So um, it's okay if you don't understand all of this code. Um, we're, we'll get into classes and objects later on. But um, for now, you can just go ahead and try this and mess around with it. Um, use stuff that we've learned in earlier tutorials with this. And um, you should learn a lot from it. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe.